Hey y'all, uh, I'm Alan. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. So this is kind of an experiment, but also kind of, I think now, the thing that I'm going to do for a while, because I tend to get into things and do them for a while. And this is going to be Minecraft. It's going to be Minecraft in a few different ways. It's going to be Minecraft long plays. It's going to be Minecraft long plays with a podcast kind of sitting on top, like we're talking right now. It's kind of going to be long plays with maybe just some music on it. It's also going to be showing people how to use uh, or how to program using an internal thing in Minecraft called CC Tweet, which is also called Computer Craft, or it's from a thing called Computer Craft. So I'm just going to get started. We'll figure all this stuff out as we go. I've got some ideas, but the ideas are still kind of percolating and still kind of forming, as tends to happen with these type of things. So let's just get started. I'm going to go with single player. We're going to make a new world. Let's see. What's this new world going to be? This is going to be... Survival, hard mode, cheats off, and we're going to call this long play. Create new world. So my idea here is to, to basically just use this as a bed of making videos that go for a long time. I'm going to be talking like kind of a podcast over them, but you'll also be able to watch it as a long play. And this long play, oh, a village right there. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. So I'm going to be going back and forth between the podcast kind of talking and the Minecraft kind of talking. I don't know if that's going to be, you know, whatever, entertaining or worth it or whatever for most people, but I figure some people might like it. Uh, my, my general theory these days is, one, I have to figure out how to move Minecraft while I'm talking because it's a little bit interesting to do both those things at the same time. And part two is... With billions and billions and billions of people out there, somebody somewhere is going to be into, no matter what you do, they're going to be into it. There's also going to be some number of people out there who really dislike whatever you do. I'm going to choose to focus on the people who are into what I'm doing and not on the ones who don't like it or even hate it or get raged and enraged about it. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so let's run around this village a little bit and see what's up. Uh, I heard an animal over here, possibly a pig. Yeah. The first thing I want to do is look for, oh, look at these little blocks. I love the blocks. This is a cool village. Okay. We just, we got a really good village. Are there crops around here? There's a bunch of wheat, but are there actually crops? Oh, I got a camel up there. Awesome. Yo, this is good. This is really good. I'm digging this. Let's see. I don't see any crops. Do you, Crops grow in desert villages? I actually don't know the answer to that. I'm not seeing much. Uh, okay. Whatever. So this is awesome because there, there are going to be beds here. I can sleep. I don't have to really worry about too much stuff to get started. we got a cactus. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I don't see any crops. So we'll find crops somewhere else. And like we can make, I guess we can make some wheat. So we can bump a couple of these and get some wheat seeds going. Okay, whatever. I've never started in a desert village before. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay. Here's here's how some of this is going to work. I'm going to dig under here and that sand's going to fall. Maybe we don't dig under there. Maybe we come over here. And, oh, actually, I need, I need to find wood. Sorry, there's a tree right there. Perfect. This this <laughs> will definitely take a little getting used to. But, like, I, sometimes I'm going to be talking through some of this stuff. Sometimes I'm just going to be playing the game a little bit, talking about what I'm doing. But one of the other tricks with this is going to be once we make it a little further into the game and I get access to some resources, I've got the ability via a mod that's called CC Tweaked to make little robots. Uh, the robots are actually called turtles, which is uh, a throwback uh, reference to uh, a programming language called Logo that I actually used in, I don't know, third grade or something, fifth grade, I don't remember when, but it was a long time ago that you would use a turtle, is what they called it, to draw on the screen and make stuff. And so we're gonna do the same, there's some crops right there. We're gonna do the same thing with these turtles here, except instead of drawing graphics on the screen, we're gonna make Minecraft stuff. We'll use them for farming, we'll use them for uh, excavating, we'll use them for building. I can't think of anything else we'll use them for, but possibly defense or farm, like uh, creature farming or mob farming. 
all kinds of stuff. And let's see what crops we have here. Hopefully we have carrots, because I like carrots. I mean, my Minecraft character likes carrots. That looks like... What is that? Okay, we got beetroot seeds. Whatever those are. Might not have carrots. Might have to find carrots somewhere else. Whoops. Definitely water. No, but sorry, little farmer. Dude, what is that? Melon seeds. Okay, cool. Sounds like a villager's dying. Oh, I need to make a couple mods here. Because uh, I want to turn... Oh, it's a... One of those things. Squid. Got an ink sack going now. Uh, let's jump up here for a second and see if there's anything else up here that's interesting. I haven't even made anything yet. We don't even have a chest yet. I love it. Oh. Oh, uh, a portal right there. Or a ruined portal. Ruined portal. That word's hard to say. Looks like a little desert, whichever I call the thing over there. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's more... Did I go all the way over there? Oh, that's where I started a little bit when I came in. Okay, cool. But yeah, so we're just going to play around. Um, literally. It's going to be long, a long-term thing. And I can't remember if I've said... So I, I actually recorded one of these already. And I'm not actually going to use it because I was recording it on a different uh, piece of software, basically, that let me make the mods. But I like the one that I'm using better. I don't remember the name of it now. It starts with an M. I'll talk about that later. But we're starting over. So I've, I've kind of had a dry run at this and I was good. I started to post it and then I decided not to post it because I switched over to this and I want this. I want to have this be a single world that is the way that I kind of stick in this world and do all the stuff in this world. Like this will be the single world that we do for the long play stuff and, on, and all the running. You know, sometimes we may go into creative mode. Sometimes we may go. I don't know, into different worlds just to play with stuff. We'll just see how it goes. But generally speaking, this is going to be the world that we use. So let's actually, I don't know, make some stuff here. That was the wrong thing to do. Oh yeah, they're also probably... Get, uh, I, I don't... I So I think what's going to happen, I'm, I keep doing this because trying to talk and play at the same time is going to take some getting used to it. It's going to take some practice. And we're going to talk a lot about practice. But there's going to be times when I'm not talking, and I think what I'm going to do for that, and what I started to do in the other video, was roll it so that uh, when I'm not talking, and on the on the podcast version of these, we'll actually go through and... Oh, and also i got a church, right? So i got a... whatever those things are called. Ooh, the green bed? We're going to touch that green bed, just so we start here. Um, but we'll have versions where uh, we just zoom through whatever the gameplay is. So the gameplay won't show much. There's a bunch of wheat, some bread. Cool, some cactus. Love it. And there should be... A, I thought there was supposed to be a brewing stand up here. Oh, maybe this isn't a church. Whatever. You can't really do much, I don't think, with the brewing stands unless you get blaze rods anyways. So maybe that doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, Which building do we want to set up in? But yeah, so I'm going to zoom through the gameplay. So like the, the version of the podcast will basically be the version of the podcast, but it's still going to have a like uh, gameplay conversation in it as I talk through what I'm doing. I really don't know what's going to happen when we start doing... Oh, cauldron also. Nice. That will save me a bunch of iron. So like this, that's exactly what I was about to mention is there's going to be times when I kind of go into conversation about the gameplay. And the thing that I don't know is what's going to happen when this could be where I set up actually. When we get to the part where we're doing programming stuff like that, that's going to change the tone dramatically because I'm going to be talking through the programming stuff and what I do about it. And I'm still like, I don't know what this thing is going to become or how it's going to work. We're, we're going to figure that out as we go. My guess is some of the podcast ones will kind of exist on their own. And like the programming ones are also going to be like their own playlist. So that like we'll go through and see those as their own thing. But who, who knows? Like it's, it's fun. Like this is an idea that 
will grow and kind of, you know, evolve over time to see whatever it becomes. And like, that's, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Like, I don't have to have the end product. Oh God, sorry. Like, not sorry, but like, I don't want to think of this as a product, even though like this is going to be the thing that I do and uh, actually try and make money off of. Cause the, the goal here would be, or is, sorry, it's not a would be, it's an is, is to make enough money off of this so that I can do it. Like if I can, if I can get to be able to do this full time, I would like to do this full time. And like, that's the thing that lots of folks want to do with different things. So I'm one of those people now and we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Step one, how do we, I don't want to put this chest here. I need to, for example, make something that we can mine with. So let me do this and we'll make just a couple more of these for now. It's fine. Run that down there. Planks become sticks for us. Sticks is going to become an axe for us. And by axe, I mean a pickaxe. So we'll do that. Now let's go find some wood. Uh, might as well make a sh... Ah, we can just dig by hand. It'll be fine. Not a whole bunch of point making a wood thing. Uh, where do we want to make our entrance into the world? So if this is going to be... Yeah, so if this is going to be the place where we start, I'm going to go this direction. Which one direction do I want to go? Uh, hmm. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. We're just going to go this way. I'm assuming I'm going to hit stone right there, even. We'll just make a couple stone here. We'll get three of them. Yeah, I'm not... This is not like a speed run play. Uh, also, I there's like all kinds of efficiencies and things that you can do in the Minecraft world that I'm n either don't know or I'm not going to worry about because that's not the the point of this. One of the other like so so I guess the point is to just kind of do this, but another point of this and one of the things that really clicked in my head about what I want to do here is I want to use this as a platform to teach people how to program. And that's what we'll get into with once we get the resources to build the, the computer stuff. I, we have to get to that point in the game. Uh, that'll change the tone of it again. We'll have the, the podcast version and the, and the programming version of it. But I think that's going to be the main thing that this is about. But I'm going to be doing it enough that there will be that stuff. And there will also be the podcast stuff. Sometimes it'll just be straight long play. Uh, especially the way that I'm recording these audio tracks, I've, I'm separating out my voice from the Minecraft sounds. So I can make a version of the video with just the Minecraft sounds, and then I can make a version of the video with uh, just... Sorry, I can make a version of the video with the Minecraft sounds and my voice. I can also make a version of the video with just the Minecraft sounds. And then that'll actually open up an opportunity to make a version of the video with the Minecraft sounds and with music. I'm looking at doing some generative music. Not not really AI. Wait, is this the right place? Cauldron should be here, right? Oh, it's over one. Okay. Well, there are, this, we're just going to make... We're going to open this up a little bit. Yeah, there's a cauldron. Okay. What's up here? I don't think I looked up here. Just some doors. Oh, we got a golem over there, which I call giants often. Got a little terrace here, with some uh, cactus things. Close the door. Oop. Oh, cauldrons, so awesome. That just saves me a bunch of iron. Is what that does. I'm surprised there aren't windows here. I don't know if they really. Oh, yeah, windows are just like open windows. Uh, I'm gonna expand this just a little bit while we're here. To make it like my place. Okay, so this has compacted sand, regular sand. Let's go find some of that stuff. There's also going to be shifts in how what I'm doing and how I'm thinking about stuff. So there's very much going to be times when we go like a hard switch from talking about whatever we're talking about to all of a sudden talking about the game. Use these for my floor. For example, right there. That's gonna be how it goes, probably. I don't know. We'll see. As the thing progresses, we'll find it out more. I, I, 
it's an interesting thing for me too in terms of how okay so i stream as well uh on twitch and i really enjoy that but i've never done it with the idea of becoming a streamer like trying to do it full time lots of people take a shot at that and it's it's an incredibly hard thing to do and to turn into, to be able to do streaming full time. Because in order to do streaming full time, you have to be doing it full time. Like it's, it is a full time gig. And that amount of energy, that amount of performance, and that amount of just raw having to be on all the time in order to make it happen is extraordinary. I am not interested in that. I'm not sure that f folks who talk about wanting to do that are are often considering the implications of that. How much work and how much effort and how much time and how much energy that is going to take. Some people do it. Like obviously some people do it and like that's super cool. I'm not interested in that. So as part of that I also wasn't interested in trying to uh, trying to turn it into a product in a way where I would be looking at how I wanted to do it specifically to try and, as they say, generate engagement or like grow an audience or grow a community. All those things that if you are doing it with the goal of becoming a full time streamer or, or doing the gig for full time you would likely get into because you're you're it switches when all of a sudden you know money's involved and your goal is to try and like make enough money to make it be the thing that you do i've just made the switch with these videos to to move into that mindset and it's really kind of interesting it's really it's really different it's really uh, i'm i'm actually uncomfortable with it to to a degree because i've never i've never really done like i don't i try not to be arrogant like i i really i've been i've been pretty good at some things over my life and i'm comfortable saying that now because uh therapy and it's just it's it's tough for me to to do self promotion like i there's a, there's an amount of there's also an amount of idea that the work should stand on its own that the thing that you do should be good enough that it will just draw the attention of the masses if it is good and i believe that i'm doing good work so like it should just be the thing and and everybody should come and enjoy it or or the expectation is to some degree that like i i shouldn't have to promote it it like it should just be good enough to get there that's kind of not the way that that works and it's it's tough for me with the mentality of i don't want to be arrogant because i've known some arrogant people and i've known some arrogant people that are really good at the stuff they do and i don't like the arrogance turns me off in a way that i really don't want to do that like it, I, I see that as a thing that I actively try to avoid. But now I need to, to do this in a way that is going to move into those areas where if I, if I want to do this, I, it needs to be promoted. It, I, need to, I need to do this and I need to, for example, say, if you like this, please like and subscribe. By the way, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Oh my god, that's the first time I've said that. That's so weird. But like it's it's legitimately it's legitimately a thing that is to a degree necessary to say because that is the like that is the form of the thing. I've got some friends who are professors of rhetoric and communication and they talk about the forms of the thing, the way that things are, and the way that things work. And that's like that is the the thing with that like so in a youtube video i i really i kind of don't like the like and subscribe thing and i think it feels like lots of people like okay yeah like and subscribe got it got it sure right whatever but like that's the that's the that's the pattern that's the thing 
And I was watching some other YouTube videos of uh, another, well, several YouTube streamers who do Minecraft stuff. One of them who's called Waddles. And like they're, one, those videos are really good. Like they're really good. They're very high quality in every single aspect that I can think of to measure. So that's awesome. But I'm not going to try and be Waddles. I, they have a style that is not my style. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position where I want to make these videos as good as possible, but I also want to maintain, like, I, I, I kind of don't have a choice other than to be true to myself, because if I tried to do something else, I wouldn't be able to do it for long. Like that would just be an energy amount that I wouldn't be able to sustain because I like, it just wouldn't work basically. And like, that's cool. Because that actually means and is going to is going to mean that the thing that we make here is going to be the thing that's our thing. And I'm using the words are because to some degree there is a community around this or that there will be like, you know, right now it doesn't exist because nobody's seen this because I'm this is the first one we're actively recording it. But it's really it's really wild to think about this idea of of shifting and making my own my own thing here my own whatever and I've made my own stuff before in lots of different ways but never never kind of like this and never I've never really made this type of thing with a goal of having people actually get into it and use it and be excited by it and that's neat it's very neat and the other thing that's helping me get over that and get into that idea is the idea that I want to teach people how to program. I think I, so I, I've done uh, programming for a, my career. Basically, I, I spent 20 years doing programming gigs where or actually a programming gig at the PGA tour where that's what I did. And I, I, I wasn't like a programmer programmer in terms of it wasn't, I, I didn't do it full time. I was, I was kind of the person that you would call when you needed something to be done and you didn't necessarily know how to do it or what to do. Like I was, I was kind of the problem solver and that's, that's a thing that I really like. And so part of me is looking at this in that same way. Like how do I problem solve for making these good? But one of the aspects that's helping me get my head around this is because I have enjoyed programming so much and because it has been such a good thing for my career and because I see that being so good for other people's career, like it's, it's a thing that I want to teach people to do. And I really believe that I can do some good stuff that will connect with some people in a way that can teach them how to program and how to better themselves. They're not better themselves. That sounds like whatever. But like how how to have a better life. A, a, give them an opportunity to do a thing that will lead to more opportunities for them that will let them be happier and healthier in their lives. So like I kind of when I when I start thinking about it that way, there becomes a a, a, a different thing that is switched in my mind that the the easiest way I can describe it is basically a moral obligation in order to do these the best that I can, but also to make sure I get them out as much as possible, like to, to reach as many people as possible. So and in order to do that, I need to do the self-promotion thing. I need to do or maybe not self-promotion specifically, but promote these. So I'm not I'm not promoting myself, but I'm promoting I'm promoting the thing that I am doing. And some of that is to like gets conflated with promoting myself, but I'm okay with that now. And I'm especially okay with it because of that framing, because of that mental look at it, where if, if I really do want to make this a uh, thing that helps people, I need to make sure that I have moved it in front of as many people as possible to make it as helpful as possible. And that really helps me. Like it really helps me. So it, it's 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 helped throw a switch in my brain that is letting me do this and feel 
not only comfortable about it, but excited about it. And like, that's exciting. Like, that's really exciting. Like a whole lot. Okay. So, okay. This is interesting. Yeah. Okay. So here's another interesting thing. I'm going to stop this section right now and or like in just a second or I don't know a few minutes probably I don't know maybe we'll get another tear here and go for a little while but I but I think what I'm going to do is we'll divide these up so I'm just going to keep playing and the long play video will be the long play video like you won't see you won't see it stop but there will be like episodes basically of this where because I've got the the capabilities of of all this amazing software I can cut this one here we can make it its own thing, like the introduction, and then the long play will keep going. So I'll just keep playing, and then what I'll do is I'll stop for a little bit, and then I'll just kind of keep talking. I don't know that... Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to worry about making... about continually doing the podcast aspect of this. So if you're, if you're watching this, the next version of the podcast or the next episode of the podcast will start sometime in the future in terms of game time. So it may be that it starts now. It starts and I, I just kind of keep rolling and just immediately roll into it. So you would basically, if, if I stop right here and I'm, I'm looking whatever, northeast, west, or south, whichever direction I'm looking with this particular scene, you would just start seeing the same thing again. Did I kill this? And that's cool. Like sometimes it'll happen. Sometimes it won't. But I think that I think I'm going to keep the yeah, I think I'm going to keep the the kind of pace and the the pattern and the whatever to kind of sections. And then we'll do that. So I'm going to end this one. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I hope this becomes a good thing. And like the podcast is the thing that I'm least worried about. The thing that I'm most or like least. Yeah, worried about and not that I'm worried about any part of this, but the thing that I'm least, the thing that has the least amount of attention, the least amount of, or not attention, but the least amount of whateverness behind it. I'm going to stop looking for that word. The thing that is, is going to be the thing we're after is the programming stuff. But so this may, the podcast may disappear. Who knows? But the, the programming stuff will, will be there and will show up. So I hope you all have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one. Till then. Cheers. You know what I should have done? I should have done this. Cheers. And then back off. Saving quick to title. Awesome. Cool. See y'all.